Joy on Munjoy Hill Media Ministry. Grandparents, auntie men, uncle men, cousin men, all men. It's for everyone who has anything ever to do with contributing to the life of a child. It's for everybody. It's for those who were children, who are children, and those who are going to bear responsibility for rearing and raising Amen. children. Amen. It's amazing how quickly our children grow up. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Seems like yesterday I was holding my children and falling asleep sitting in my chair. Seems like it was only yesterday taking them to school and picking them up. And kids are here today and then they seem to be gone tomorrow. At least we pray. Not appreciated. At some point they had to go. Amen. Amen. But the truth of the matter is that even though they may not be there physically, they're never gone. Can I get a witness? Amen. So I'm sure that everyone in our congregation this morning would agree that we have either wanted or now want to be good parents. We want to be good. Everyone want to be a good parent. Amen. We want to have strong families, but if, the fact is that because of the pace in which we live. The constant pressures of our careers to always produce more. Sometimes our families get put on the back burner. And sometimes our families fall into risk. Is it possible to achieve professional success and rear a family at the same time? Is it possible to raise faithful kids in our world today? I believe that it is. With the help of God, it is. I've always wanted to give my kids everything they needed, more than what I had. But we have to be mindful that sometimes when we give too freely, we make them lazy. Y'all shout now, but wait till I come to your school. I know, that's all right. I'll still shout. <laughs> Amen. That's so true. Sometimes we spend more time in Toys R Us mm. and not enough time in Sunday school. Amen. Well, that's not the kids' fault. That's mom and them's fault. Daddy and them's fault. Because kids don't drive. Mm. Y'all ain't shouting no more. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the hallelujahs? Amen. <laughs> So we're going to look at some things today our kids need most. I know some of you are saying I'm not a parent, but, but guess what? You're going to contribute to the life of a child. So you need to know as well what kids need most. Uh, they don't need another toy. Amen. Amen. They don't really need another outfit. Amen. God knows they don't need any Air Jordans, mm -hmm. junk mans, any of kind of things. Amen. Uh, but there's some things that we have to be mindful of that they absolutely must have. Y'all with me so far? Yeah, all right. Yes. First of all, I got seven points. If I get through them, I will. If not, I'll come back another time. First of all, children absolutely, positively need love. One of the most important things we can give our children is unconditional love. Uh, unconditional love. There needs to be a place for everyone where they are accepted. Uh, warts and all. Uh, there are no perfect children. Uh, I know you think you raised a perfect child, but an imperfect parent cannot produce a perfect child. Amen. Amen. And most of the time, the things you don't like in your child, you will find in your mirror. Unconditional 
unconditional love is a combination of love and understanding. Love and understanding. Unconditional love is knowing all there is to know about you and still loving you. Well, well, Unconditional well. love is what God shows towards us. He knows all about Thank our you. issues, yeah. our warts, you, our fractures, yeah. our fissures, yeah. our failures, and yet yeah. and still, He still yeah. loves yeah. us. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know how we can expect a baby to be perfect. When they've not learned yet. Yes, sir. We must learn how to love with understanding. Uh -huh. I, 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 I'm mindful. Amen. Amen. And so you have to pay attention. Not just when they're outside, but pay attention when they're inside. You know, sometimes I wish we went back to the days when one but three channels on the TV. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That was on the VHS side. On the VHS side. Amen. 38 and 56 was on the other side. Amen. And you only could get that if you stood a certain way. Amen. You put the floor on the thing this way. Amen. That's the only way you can get it. Amen. Uh, when the TV channel would go off at midnight. Right, uh, right. Because you know what? When you go to sleep at midnight, your children are surfing. Uh huh. Well. And they're learning stuff from people that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's important that we pay attention. Yeah. Uh, demonstrate attention towards our children. They recognize love through affection and attention. Amen? Uh, not only through affection and attention, but affirmation. Uh, we need to learn how to affirm our children. Uh, there's some words that we should not use uh, as it relates to our children. Uh, we should never use the word stupid as it relates to our children. We shouldn't use the word ugly as it relates to our children. They may, they may be acting a little untoward. That don't mean they're acting ugly. Because the truth of the matter is, is that they start talking and thinking that way. The next thing you know, they got a complex. And the complex came from the words that came out of our mouths. Since we're the ones who are talking to them the majority of the time, I understand if a child curses outside, it's because they most of the time heard the cuss words inside. And you look all surprised. I don't believe why I tell you. Thank you. 
punishment doesn't come from a place of love. Punishment does not come from a place of love. Punishment flows from a place of anger. Wrath. You may not like it, that's too bad. That's what the Bible talks about. Discipline to teach them. Train them. Train them for future success. Train them for what they're going to come up against. Teach them why they're where they are because of what they did, but then give them a pathway to something better. If all you do is swing the rod and never bring the staff, you get bitter children. The Bible says, Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. If it's not talking about men, it's talking about parents. Yes, yes. When we function out of anger, we're out of our mind. And we're seeking to satiate our own feelings. That's it. Yes. Yes. Correction is not on our mind. Satisfaction. It has to be dependable. Accountable. Reliable. But above all, if you're going to pray, if you're going to parent with purpose, you have to be prayerful. You'll get no greater gift from God than the benefit of raising one of His children. We must take that seriously. We must realize that we don't have all the answers. That we need to ask somebody who's been there. Not that they will lord over you in the raising of the children. But you will gain better perspective. Fathers, you want to know how to raise a daughter? There's men in here who have raised daughters. Mothers, you want to know how to raise sons? There are women in here who have raised sons. We need this community to take responsibility as parents. I do not make apologies for being a parent. I know my responsibility. I'm going to exercise it. When they're able to go off on their own and do their own thing and give me the keys to my house and drive their own car. Pay their own bills. my response.